Welcome to Dax for Humans. My name is Greg Deckler, and in today's video, we're going to be putting together all the pieces and parts of the last few videos um, in terms of thinking in Dax. We're going to put them all together into a single pattern that will allow you to solve a vast majority of Dax problems. So, in terms of thinking in Dax, we've covered tables, we've covered filtering those tables, we've covered using X aggregators across filtered tables, and we've covered variables. So now we're going to put all four of those pieces together and I'll show you a pattern that you can use to solve a wide array of DAX problems. Alright, so let's say that we want to sum up um, all of the non-pickle rows of our table. Well, we've seen sort of how to do that, but we'll create a new measure here. And we're going to call this sum no pickle. Okay. So we're going to create a variable. We're going to start with, what do we start with in DAX? We start with a table. And we're just going to start with our table. No filtering or anything for right now. You'll see in a little while in a few more videos in terms of why this is a good pattern, good habit to get into. So now we're going to be working with that table. So that variable stores the table, all of the data, all the rows in that table. Well, let's filter that table. So let's say no pickle table equals filter our table variable where item is not equal to pickle so now we've got a filtered table now we want the sum no pickle and that's going to be the sum x our x aggregator of our no pickle tape of our no pickle table and we're going to sum up the total cost and now what we can do is we can have a result sum no pickle. Well, sum no pickle. There. Sometimes DAX is not the smartest in terms of its IntelliSense. Okay, there we go. Return sum no pickle. So now we can hit enter on that. We can create another card visual here. We can add our sum no pickle to it. We wait 38.89. There is your basic DAX pattern. Start with a table. Filter, and I'll also show you how to group tables and things like that later in later videos. But basically get a table, get the table in a form that you want to work with it, which in our case is we don't want any of the pickle rows. So we filter those out. And then we use an X aggregator across to our filtered or manipulated or grouped table. And then we, re you know, we return either the sum or average or min or max of some column in that filtered table. And that's it. It looks very simple, doesn't it? I hope it does because that DAX is easy. And that's the point of this channel. And that if you follow this pattern, you can solve almost any DAX problem that's out there um, in a very easy way, very intuitive way, a way that you can debug, and I'll show that in later videos. But that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.